Good morning, children. Today for the third standard, I am doing uh, unit number nine, Magnificent Success Story of Mary Com. So, since your third standard children don't have the book, I will just read the story uh, in uh, short. I'll read the story in short, and I'll give you the words meaning on the board, which you will have to write in your classwork note. So, going ahead with Mary Com. Children, all of you all know who Mary Com is, correct? Mary Com was a is uh, was no she is a boxer she is a female boxer so she mary com was born in 1983 in a poor family in uh, kangathe manipur she is from manipur she is the first daughter of shri m tonpa com and smithy m akham com they belong to the kangathe village a small village in chura chandrapur district in manipur so basically Ma mary com was uh, born in uh, Manipur, where she, uh, her family stayed. Her parents, Mangte Tonpa Kom and Mangte Akham Kom, worked in Jhum fields. Children, Jhum fields are actually uh, fields which, you know, the process of growing crops by clearing of vegetation and burning them for good soil. So these fields used to, they used to uh, grow crops on that. Then they used to clear it and burn the crops, uh, burn the, uh, the, you know, the waste of the crops so that the soil used to be very uh, good to do for the next crop. So it was called jhum field. Jhum fields means a process of growing crops by clearing land or vegetation and burning them for good soil. So jhum fields. Her parents were workers, farmers in the jhum fields. Her family background speaks a lot of how Mary overcame hardship and inconveniences and created a name for herself in the area of world boxing. So, uh, though she was from a very uh, poor family, she came up and she became a world uh, famous woman boxer uh, in, the world, in world boxing. She was recognized in world boxing. She completed a primary education from Lokta Christian Model High School, Moirong till her class 6th standard at St. Xavier School, Moirong, Moirong up to class 8th. She then moved to Adim Jati High School in Fal for a schooling for class 9th and 10th but could not pass her examination. Being the eldest, Mary helped her parents work in the fields cutting wood, making charcoal and fishing. On the other hand, she also spent a good time looking after two younger brothers and sisters. So it is shown uh, in the story, it talks about Mary Ko, that she was a very hard-working girl. She was a very, very hard-working girl. She used to help her parents in the field. She used to help her parents in um, the housework. Plus, she used to look after her young uh, siblings. Mary Combe was interested in sports since her childhood. She took a keen interest in athletics. Moirong, Mary thought that she would become a good athlete one day and carve a name for herself in the discipline. But fate decided otherwise. So Mary Combe was very good in athletics. She wanted to run. But actually fate had something else in store for her. She took to sports in an effort to provide some financial support to her family. I was initially an all-round athlete and 400 meters and javelin were my pet events. So she was uh, an athlete who was very well versed in 400 meters running and javelin. It was the success of Dinko Singh that inspired her to become a boxer. The rise of Dinko Singh and the demonstration of women boxers at the 5th National Games in Manipur inspired her. So when uh, she was actually an athlete who used to run 400 meters and she, she used to throw the javelin. But she was inspired by Dinko Singh who, was, who inspired her to become a boxer. When Dinko Singh returned from Bangkok Asian Games with a gold, I thought I should give it a try. Dinko's success triggered a revolution of sort in Manipur. And surprisingly I found I was not the only girl who was drawn into boxing, she said. So when Dinko Singh uh, won a gold at the Asian Games, Dinko Singh won a gold at the Asian Games. So
so mary com wanted to go in that line and then she came to know that there were many other girls who wanted to join the boxing line mary began boxing in 2000 and was a quick learner she preferred to be put to the same paces as the boys around her in just 2 weeks she learned the basics i guess i had god given talent for boxing so what mary com says that within 2 weeks she learned all the basics in boxing and she was very well versed in boxing mary had tried to hide her interest in boxing from her family since it was not considered as a sport for them her father scolded her when a photo of her winning the state boxing championship appeared in the newspaper so though mary com was very good in boxing she hid this uh, she hid it from her family she didn't want her family to know that she was uh, into boxing but suddenly one day when she won the state boxing cha- championship her photo came in the paper and which her father saw mary com decided to enter into the ring with determination and strong will there to pursue her dream she became a world class pugilist who joined sports authority of india uh, kuman lampak was a coach and mentor shri uh, ibom ibomcha singh so kuman lampak uh, authority sports authority of india she underwent an uh, intensive uh, training from there and her coach was shri ibomcha singh At the tender age of 18 Mary made a debut at the first World Boxing Championship after just one year of starting to learn boxing and she won a silver medal in the 46 kg weight category so Mary Com uh, made a debut in World Boxing at the age of 18 and she won a silver medal Mary Com fought the Asian champion Kim Myung Sim in the title about at Asian Cup women's boxing tournament in Haiku, China. Little Kupniveer cheered for mummy from the hospital bed in Chandigarh. So Mary Com was a mother of two twin sons and she used to uh, go for these international uh, uh, boxing bouts with uh, with her husband looking after the children at their place i do not only rely on my technique or strength but also on my mind people used to say that boxing is for men and not for women and i thought i will show them some day i promised myself and i proved myself so mary com was very true that she wanted to be become a uh, woman boxer she struggled she fought till she won till she won the uh, uh, bronze medal at olympics 2012 she created history by becoming the first person from northeast to win a bronze medal in olympics 2012 she became she is the only woman boxer to have won a medal in each one of the six world championships in the 51 kg category she has got three asian titles and 11 national titles under her belt She is a recipient of the Arjuna Award, the Padma Shri Award, and the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. So, so this was a small uh, story about Mary Com. How she struggled when she was young. How she went to school. How she left school. How she was actually an athlete, but then from an athlete she changed her um, she changed her um, uh, line to boxing. she was inspired by the boxer who won a uh, medal in the asian games and then after that she uh, she never looked back she went on winning many titles which she went on to becoming a world boxer world boxer so children this is a story since the third standard children don't have the textbook i have given you the meanings of three words here i would like you to write it in your class work note Jhum means process of growing crops by clearing land or vegetation and burning them for good soil. I have read it. I am reading it out also so that it's easier for you to write down in your classwork note. Arena means a stage. Arena means a stage or a boxing place where you box. Triggered means caused. Triggered means caused. After this, children, I uh, have given you three um, three words meaning over here, and the rest I'll just write it down on the board. You can just look here and uh, copy it in your uh, classwork note. This is revolution. 
which means a sudden and extreme change. Extreme change. Next word is pugilist. Pugilist means a boxer. Next, Goliath. Goliath is a biblical giant. Goliath is a biblical giant. Inspiration means stimulate. Inspiration and stimulate. Children, these are just six, uh, six, seven uh, words meaning that you have to write in your classwork note. Please uh, write it, take a picture and send it to Rohana ma'am. This is a lesson of Mericom. I will send you the question answer separately. Do this and uh, take a picture and send it to Mrs. WhatsApp number. Thank you.